Okay, let's solve for x using the sine ratio. And uh, by the way, this diagram's not to scale because there'll be no way on earth that this would measure 30 degrees. But let's pretend that, yes, this is 30 degrees. But of course, this is definitely 90 degrees, so we have a right triangle. And um, without further ado, we want to solve for x. So what do we know here? Let's just use 30 degrees and plug it in right here. So we know that the sine of 30 degrees is equal to the opposite, and opposite in this case is going to be x, because this is the opposite side to angle A over the hypotenuse. And what is the hypotenuse? Just 10, because the hypotenuse is always opposite to the 90 degree angle. And in this case, that is the hypotenuse then. Great, so now we know that the sine of 30 degrees, and I guess I should have put the degrees in here, but that, yes, no big deal. Um, the sine of 30 degrees is gonna be equal to x divided by 10. So what I'll do now is that I will plug this into my calculator. If I plug in the sine of 30, I get 0 0.5. So 0 0.5, so half is equal to x over 10. And we just want to solve for x. So what I can do is just multiply both sides by 10. Look at that. So the tens disappear. So I get a, this by the way is a 10. Great. So 10 times 0 0.5 is 5. Half of 5 is, sorry, half of 10 is 5. And that is equal to x. So we have already found x. That's it.